Well, Don Mancini, the creator of Chucky, just dropped a two-minute video talking about what to expect from the new TV series. We'll watch that video and we'll see if there's anything new that we learned. And now, here to entertain you all, because every day he's hustling, Side Hustle Cinema. Welcome back to the channel, Side Hustle Cinema here. And we just got a new video from Don Mancini talking about what to expect from the series. So let's go ahead and give that video a watch and I'll tell you what my thoughts are. I want Chucky! Chucky? Chucky? Hi, I'm Don Mancini, the creator of Chucky. In just the last minute, he's gonna go, ah! <laughs> I wanted to bring the series back to its child's play roots and involve teenagers. They have more complicated issues that they're dealing with, like bullying. Don't forget your boy toy. With this first season of the TV series, we use Chucky as a metaphor for bullying. And I think in a way, Chucky is the perfect bully because he comes as he always has in our franchise in the guise of being your best friend. I'm your friend to the end. Get fucked with that shit. Let's do that one more time. People will laugh and they will scream in the ways that they expect, but I also hope to make people cry. Action. Sometimes I'm not sure what Norma feels like anymore. I feel like that all the time. We explore a very sweet teen gay romance that I think people might be surprised at the depth of it. And I think it has a whiff of real life pain. Scenes from my own life replayed. A young, gay, anxious kid with issues. Cut. That was good. Long-standing fans will, of course, find plenty of what they've come to love, but new fans, I think, are going to find a surprisingly rich story with complex characters to the degree that you really can't do in any single 90-minute movie that the eight-hour serialized format allows us to delve into these characters and relationships in a way we've never been able to do before. Well, Chucky the TV series premieres on USA Sci-Fi Network on October 12th at 10 p.m. And honestly, there wasn't a whole lot in this video that we didn't kind of already know. We did get a look at Jennifer Tilly. We hadn't seen her before. I think she'll be used primarily in flashbacks. Uh, one of the things we do know is that um, before Chucky was Chucky, you know, he was Charles Lee Ray. And they're going to be taking a look back at him when he was a kid. That kid's supposed to be in at least three episodes, so we're going to have some flashbacks. Probably throughout the um, series that, you know, deals with uh, Charles Lee Ray before he became Chucky. But I don't think it'll slow down the pace of the show. I think it'll just be some... Uh, you know, some kind of quick look back, something that sort of ties in with the story moving forward. We also got confirmation in this video that Devin Lopez, the neighbor, uh, would be playing sort of the love interest of, of Jake Weber, the main character in the show. The trailer kind of suggested it, but now, you know, we kind of have uh, confirmation that that's, that's the case. I hope the series doesn't get like too Riverdale, you know, or like one of these, um, you know, kind of teenage shows, uh, 90210, Chucky 90210 or something. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I kind of don't think it will. I mean, they, you know, they have to fill some time. They have, they have eight hours to develop some characters and and get in some Chucky kills. We know he's not just gonna, you know, go wide open killing everyone. Um, you know, all episode long. And as far as like kill count goes for the show, I kind of wonder how many people uh, he will end up killing uh, in the series. We got eight episodes, so um, I, I think he's got to average at least one an episode. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say eight, eight to ten people maybe. I think that would be a decent number for Chucky. You know, he's not a mass you know body count kind of killer, so. I think 8 to 10 would be a good number. But that's just a guess on my part. <laughs> but the doll looks great. Chucky, you know, hasn't looked this good in a while. Of course, we know that this doll was modeled after the uh, the one from Part 2 
of the movies, which was uh, probably one of the better looking uh, dolls there was. We also see them, you know, kind of working the, you know, the doll like with uh, practical effects. Um, you know, we do know that there's not a ton of CGI. They, they've come out and said that. So it's, it's nice to see. It looks pretty good, everything I've seen so far. And in the little video, we had uh, the main character, you know, not Chucky, uh, dropping the F-bomb. So uh, for those of you who are worried about, uh, you know, being a little tame or not getting in the cursing or being having some restriction, you know, we've said all along that, uh, you know, that they're definitely going to have, you know, adult language and at least some gore. I don't know how much they can get away with on TV. But it is on that 10 o'clock slot, and it's not on major networks. You know, it's on Sci-Fi and, and USA Channel, so they can always get by with a little bit more. Well, anyway, we had an update, so I, I just wanted to uh, to do a video and, and talk about it. I'm super hyped for this show. Can't wait for it to come on. October 12th, just around the corner. Also waiting for that trailer for I Know What You Did Last Summer. I'm, I'm curious to see that one. That one starts in October uh, as well, October 15th, I believe. <clears throat> I believe, and that one's going to be on Amazon Prime. Uh, both, you know, these series I'm, I'm really looking forward to. Um, we're getting a lot of news about Chucky. Not getting much about I Know What You Did Last Summer. So hopefully that changes soon. And that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Feel free to comment about anything we talked about today. So until next time, stay safe, have fun, keep watching those movies, and we'll catch you next time.